just finished tidying up and I decided I was just going to stay down here and kind of just get some, I always say like housekeeping administrative things done because it's not that I need to study, I just need to get um, through some tasks. Like I need to type some documents and send them out. I need to make um, an agenda for two meetings on Sunday uh, in regards to my um, like leadership position within church. I just have like so many little things that I need to get done. And I feel like I've been using, oh fetch. But anyway, I thought I would change up my desk scenery. I'm currently sitting at um, our dining room table. Um, and honestly, I like it because I feel like the surface area is so much bigger than my desk and I can look out and see the sun, see the flowers, the greenery. We love that. Um, and honestly, I'm not studying. I really don't have to study anymore, which is really nice um, because, like I said, I finished my last um, written exam <clears throat> for dental school. I think actually there's there's I think another written one that is just within like our curriculum that's like a D4 OSCE that I'm pretty sure we need to take um, at Michigan but as far as like really big exams that like I need to study for your girl's done um, so that's just something to celebrate I am just kind of going through my Google Calendar I need to go through um, and just see the different things that I need to get done. I I honestly just don't know. I just get so busy throughout the week and obviously no matter how hard you plan, things just never turn out the way you want them to. Um, but what I've really been loving is time blocking. Um, recently I talked with you guys about how I was putting in time sensitive events or meetings or tasks within my Google Calendar and then it gives me like notification on my phone as well. Um, but I've kind of like enhanced that and I'm now time blocking um, things. So like there's just a lot to do, a lot of like administrative things to do. And so what I did in my calendar was I blocked off like stake young women presidency tasks right so like the leadership position i have i'm within like my church's stake young women presidency um i'm a member of the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints so like a lot of the terminology most of you guys probably won't know but that's like the title and so i have it blocked off here on my calendar and i can kind of just block off the amount of time so i'm giving myself an hour to work on these tasks and then within like where I can add like notes. I put like each of the individual tasks that I need to get done and I'm kind of just bolding them so I know, okay, I've already done that. Um, and then the ones that aren't bolded, I know that um, I need to get them done. So <clears throat> it's really nice and I've really been liking it. Time blocking has honestly saved me so much time and also stress as well. So I highly, highly recommend if you're not time blocking time block and when i say time block like time block everything um <clears throat> and i think you'll be able to feel like you actually have more control over your schedule um and i definitely feel like you will be able to feel like okay i i have more time than i think i do so right now what i'm going to do is honestly just do some of these tasks that i need to do i'm going to like set a timer on my phone um, and kind of just see what I can get done within the hour and then I will catch up with you guys after that. Hey guys, I'm in the car, as you can tell. With me! Yeah. Am I it's there? Like can I see the lens? Yeah, you are. Good. It's like 6.34 p.m. Um, I really grinded and got done some of the administrative tasks that I needed to get done. And so Kenny and I are on our way to pick up food. We're going to have a nice little in-home date night tonight. Chinese takeout. Yes. Actually, probably it's P.F. Chang's. I, I, the thing is, like, when you say Chinese takeout, people uh -huh. think you're going to, like, the actual, like, kind of hole-in-the-wall Chinese place uh, and get takeout. Yeah. Like, P.F. Chang's. I feel like we haven't found that. <clears throat> There's the one up by Baskin Robbins, remember, that I got that one time I was but craving. But I haven't had it. I was, I was craving it one night so. at, like, 11 o'clock, and they were the only place open. Mm -hmm. 
sunglasses. What? Show them my sunglasses. Why? They're not new. I know, but I look good. Alrighty. Yeah, like Tom Cruise from Top Gun. Lady Beaters. I feel like I complain a lot. And with most of the stuff, it's things that, like, I, like, signed up to do, I accepted to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, I complain a lot about, like, dental school, too, but it's, like, it's my dream to become a dentist, but, like, I complain. So I need to, you know, have a better mindset. Which, speaking of mindset, and honestly, I'll probably talk about this podcast in my October uh, monthly reset, but it's just so good to not share with you guys. So it's, the guy's name is Rene Rodriguez, and he has a podcast, and it's called The Neuro Side of Influence and Leadership, and it's honestly one of the best podcasts ever. One, he's like super <clears throat> calming, and yeah, his voice is like really it's just easy like, to listen right? to. Yeah. It's just, mm. <clears throat> he's and, a good follow on Instagram too. Oh, I haven't followed him on the channel. He posts good that. stuff. Um, but he, if you're someone who's really just into self-development, personal growth, just really trying to figure out yourself and become very self-aware, he is honestly amazing to listen to. So, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Guys, <laughs> I need to get new cleansing bombs, so we're gonna stop in Sephora to see if they have anything that I want. The goods are secured. I'm not home, but I th thought I'd give you guys a haul, a mini haul, since I literally only got one thing. Um, went to Sephora and I needed a new cleansing bomb, like I said. So, is th these are the ones that you saw that were like pregnancy safe or like recommended, yes. right? Cool beans. Kenny and I are currently trying to conceive, and so I am trying to get products that will for sure be like pregnancy safe. That way I don't have to like really worry about switching things out. So, I saw this um, cleansing balm product. It's by, can you guys see that? I don't know. Will it? Yeah, there we go. I got this brand, um, it's called Pharmacy, and I just got like the little holiday party trio one. There's just three different scents that I can try, but I got this one, and we'll kind of see how it goes. I've really been loving the cleansing balms recently to remove my makeup um, instead of the makeup wipes, and I feel like my skin is very thankful that I have made the switch. So I will try these out and let you guys know how it goes. Also... <coughs> If you guys um, have any recommendations for like pregnancy safe things, I think it's really hard to actually find pregnancy safe things. Like sometimes people can say that it is, but it's really not. Um, so let me know down below in the comments. But can you are actually gonna go back in the mall to get? Is it Auntie Anne's? Is that what's Auntie Anne's? Don't say Auntie Anne's. It's Auntie Anne's. Auntie. I say Aunt. I say Aunt. I know, but I it's like the name of the... It's aunt, not word. aunt. I feel like that's weird. <clears throat> aunt. Aunt. So the auntie aunts. You're making it sound like it's all like fancy. Whatever. Pretzel the place. yummy pretzel place. We're going to go and get And scents. it's not, not. It's not the yummy pretzel place because Wetzel's is way better. Auntie Anne's kind of sucks compared. But that's all we got. So. Whatever. I just want something sweet, you know? Treat yourself. Guys, back in the car. We went back inside. Auntie Anne's did not have the pretzels that I wanted. The cinnamon ones. They... We're out. So we got some cookies at Miss Fields. And then I really needed a new candle um, because. <clears throat> you really, really the, needed it. I did, Kenny, because listen, the one on the coffee table burnt out. And I had to take one from the entryway table. So I did what need a new candle. What about the other candle. three that we have in our closet? Those are for Christmas time. So I went to Altered State. This is my all time favorite candle. Um, they are the Volcano brand, and so I was in a sorority at Florida State, and during recruitment throughout the house, they would burn the Volcano candles, and I just loved the scent. But the ones that they had in Tallahassee, like, they were all like, blue candles, and I just, I, I didn't want a blue candle, like, I wanted one that was super aesthetic. And so I found out that they make the same candle scent, but with, like, a white candle. It smells amazing. It's the Volcano. 
I don't know why it's not focusing. It's focusing on me. Kind of like that. But it's super strong too, so you don't even need to like burn it for a long time for like the whole room to smell nicely. I also saw this really cute, I don't even know, it's like a devotional coloring book. And so it has little devotionals, but there's like pictures that you can color in as well. I don't know if you can really see that. But I thought it'd be really cute and just very therapeutic. I really like to color um, when I get like overwhelmed or I just want to relax. So this will be a fun, nice, spiritual kind of experience, you know?